Good morning, it's August 11th, 2010, and this is your Daily Outlook. FOMC leaves rates unchanged at 0.25%. The dollar was well supported by dollar buybacks ahead of the U.S. interest rate announcement last night. Most markets were quiet, with the speculation of further Fed easing helping the stock market to make small gains. U.S. stocks at the time, Dow up 45 points and the S&P up 6 points. The Fed left rates unchanged at 0.25% immediately after the dollar lost ground across the board as bank dealers hunted stops on the upside whilst immediately reversing its losses and tracking back down to 131 as the market reassesses speculation on further quantitative easing. U.S. stocks reversed gains and closed in negative territories. The euro fell back from the 133 level with the market cautious of being caught long ahead of tonight's major risk event. On the positive note, August's European Centix jumped 9.8 points to 8.5 for the best reading since 2007. German CPI for July came in at 1.2% for the year and 0.3% for the month. The rise was due to a rise in global energy and food prices. ECB member Stark was quoted as saying that he sees no major downwards risk to the price stability in the foreseeable future. He believes that inflation risks and credit conditions will be the dominant factor in future monetary policy. Currencies to watch out for today, we have the EURUSD and USD-YEN. The EURUSD pivot point is in at 131.75 with a preference to enter into short positions at 131.65. The USD-YEN pivot point is in at 85.75 with a preference to enter into short positions at 85.75. Today's calendar and market movers, we have the German trade balance for June expected at 12.5 billion. We have the Eurozone Centex for August forecast at 1.6. And we have the Australia Business Confidence for July prior month's reading for. In the equity markets, we have U.S. equities closing negative yesterday with the S&P at negative 0.6% and the Dow at negative 0.51%. We have the European bursts with being mixed with the FTSE down negative 0.57%, the DAX and the CAC closing at negative 1.03% and 0.23% respectively. The Nikkei and the Hang Seng at the time of writing is at negative 2.72% and negative 0.36% respectively. I'm Sarah Henry from the Easy Forks Dealing Room. Have a great day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.